Hey, 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 what up, y'all? This is your boy, Ken. I, you're watching The View from the Game. Thank you for tuning in. If you're on Instagram, you watch me live. I am the actual man behind the Instagram. Yes, I do answer my DMs. When you DM, you DM in me. Hey, but check this out, man. Well, I got your attention, make sure you go get my book, The 48 Laws of Game. That's right, The 48 Laws of Game. You can get it at audible.com. All you got to do is type my name, Pippin Ken. When you get to audible.com, and this book, as well as my other book, The Art of Human Chess, this is the book everybody's talking about. This is the book that your daddy should have taught you about. Everything that your daddy didn't teach you to gain, it's in this book right here. In The Art of Human Chess, the study guide to win, teach you how to maneuver, teach you how to finesse, teach you how to play chess, teach you how to outsmart your enemy. You got to get my books, classics. Hey, man, also, man, make sure you subscribe, like, and make sure you let everybody know through notifications where to come and get this joint at by sharing. And also, I am also the proprietor and the owner of HHF Mag, HHF Clothing, HHF uh, Awards, and HHF Radio. Hey, man, stay tuned, man, and go to thehiphopfraternity.com and check us out. And every Monday, we're at the Ice Bar. That's right, 5456 Fairville Road, Atlanta, Georgia. Every artist get in free. Every A&R get in free. Every executive get in free. Everybody is free. Artists get to perform for free, and you get to park for free. The only free game in town. Hey, man, it's your boy Ken, man. Ken Ivy, a.k.a. Pippa Ken. I'm back again, man. You gonna watch the view from the game, man. Hey, man, I flew all the way from the ATL, man. This is a special ep episode, man. Hey, man, I got my little partner here, man. I'm talking about, man. Hey, man, my man. Wow, wow, Mike Fresh in this thing, baby. What's now, baby? Hey, my man, Mike Fresh. He's officially a platinum member of the Hip Hop Fraternity. Yes, sir. HHF! 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 Yeah, we got the whole crew, you know, we run deep, you know what I'm saying? Y'all already know how we ride. So, Mike, man, welcome to the Hip Hop Fraternity, man. man. Appreciate you, You know, we're going to make sure everybody push your music. So, if you're a member of the Hip Hop Fraternity, y'all see his music, everybody share the music, y'all push it, y'all know how we do it. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Y'all post them on y'all page. Come on. You know what I'm saying? This brother here is a special story. We're going to get into that later, but first we're going to take them back in time. Growing up, you know, as a youngster, you know, and then we're gonna come on into the music, we're gonna get into the game, you know, we're gonna uh, talk about the billions of streams, the platinum albums. It's a, it, it's a whole lot that y'all don't even know. And for full disclosure, uh, when I flew in last night, uh, 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 Mike Fresh, they took me to a club, man, and it was so many young <laughs> females there, man, baddies, right? And they was going crazy over this guy, man. And they was singing this song word for word. And that's what impressed me, man. And that's why I said, man, I'm so happy to have this brother as a platinum member of the Hip Hop Fraternity. So, I appreciate uh, it, man. Mike, let him know, man. Uh, uh, where you from, man? And, uh, uh, originally, I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. So uh, when the Hurricane Katrina hit in 05, I came to Texas in 08 a couple of years after. Oh, like, so you're not originally from uh, Texas? Nah, I ain't from, I ain't from Texas at all. But I started rapping out here, so it's like, it's kind of complicated because they claim me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. seen how it was last yeah, night, they, they claim me. You from me alone? I'm from New Orleans, though, for sure. You know, I used to live on Killer. Yeah, Killer. Yeah, okay. Killer. Yeah, Killer. Uh, uh, Veteran Boulevard. Veteran Boulevard, yeah. Yeah, I used to have a lot of this down there. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. I seen, uh, I seen the other story where, where else we were talking about y'all was in New Orleans. Yeah, yeah, it's on, uh, over there on uh, uh, Chef, the yeah, Chef Highway. Uh, over there by the casino, mm -hmm. uh, uh, over there the Days Inn over there. Yeah, yeah. So we used to work the Days Inn and over there on uh, Canal Street. Canal. Come on. Bourbon Street. Come on, come on. Yeah, Dowling. Yeah. I'm yeah. right down the street from Canal. What's that? Shoe, what's the name of the club? Shoe? Uh, 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 oh, Chef. Chef. The, the, the club, the little strip club, what's the name of I can't I can't tell you. I'm 29 right now. When I left New Orleans, I was a teenager. Oh yeah, yeah, so we did a lot of people. The niggas oh, it's a real live head bus. Oh for there. sure. Oh I'm already knowing for yeah, sure. Man, for you sure. know, hey man, you know, uh, when I first came to New Orleans back in the day, man, it was the murder cap. We talking about the ninety. Yeah. It was the murder capital of the ninety. Yeah. Them niggas been buzzing here for a long time. It's still there, man. man. I know that's what I'm saying. <laughs> You know, Sergeant Slim, that was my man. So, you know, Junior Soldier? Yeah, man, yeah, man. I, I, I'm riding Soldier one day. Yeah. And uh, 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 we 50 Cent in town, Master P in town. So I'm riding Soldier. So y'all niggas pull up from there. I mean, it was some beef. Like, Soldier's like, ah, you know how Soldier is, man. You know, I said, oh, shit, I'm about to get smoked in New Orleans, man. <laughs> they rolled up on us, man. But uh, whenever Soldier told him, 
them niggas kept on them, moving. Yeah, yeah. They, they knew it went to time, but they was like on some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. And you remember he had the white Escalade? Yeah. Yeah, we was in this white Escalade, so they was tripping this shit. I was like, oh man, I, so I got caught up in the oil. Because you already know, I just been in Uptown. I was with Teddy up in Uptown. Yeah, yeah Teddy's mom used to cook the turkey legs every Thursday. That was my nigga Teddy. You know, he got this smoke Okay, okay. Yeah, he got I killed too. Teddy and I was fucking with Jack Boy, all that shit over there. The car wash over there off of Canal. Yeah, you yeah. know, yeah, oh, I, yeah. You got some history in this man, city. Man, I'm telling you, man, I had look at that motherfucker. I'm looking like the mother of this, man. Ain't saying no more. The barber shop over here, the old black dark skinned dude, I forget his name. But it was right downtown, the barber shop down there. It was the only one down there. It was an old black dude. He was on the cone. He was on, it was like, it was off of, uh, Canal is like to the right uh, on, on the sidebar street. Yeah, you know, we used to be up in there and uh, remember rumors? Remember mm -hmm. rumors? Man, I'm tired. I was young, so yeah, yeah, I ain't do a lot of that. That Club. motherfucker, hey man, it was motherfucker dying in that motherfucker every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I just, I was just a ghetto nigga from uh, Milwaukee. You know, we got a club okay. called CC's. It was like the same way. They actually got into it with the owner up there. Uh, I, I'd uh, bust a move on the little niggas, and the nigga, they took me to a back room. They was tripping on me and shit. So that shit was crazy, but damn, New Orleans, yeah. So we go. What was like growing up in New Orleans? So well, man, like, like I said, I, I was young, bro. So like, all the treachery stuff that was going on around me, mm -hmm. I really ain't really noticed it, cause I was young. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My mama used to have BG, P, M, all in my to the mystical, my cousin. So mm -hmm. he was signed to Master P. Mm -hmm. So I used to see like see murder, Snoop, P, M. They used to come to the house, smoke blunts with my mama, like it wasn't nothing. And I don't even know who these dudes is. You like, tell you, when you I was young. About your cousin? What up? Uh, yeah, he got robbed, right? Nah. So, well, yeah, some Milwaukee motherfuckers took his jury. And so he called me, and uh, I get the jury back for him. I nah. called them niggas. I said, man, you know, I need that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I ain't never he heard that. He gave it back to me. He came back. When he came back, he came to Milwaukee. gave it to me. He came to get the jury. The nigga ran with my brother. He, he slipping, man. Mystical be slipping. He leave like For 40, sure he he leave 40000 in my brother's car. And I was like, man, I had to call him. Hey, man, we need that too. So I gave him all his jewelry, man, put it back on him. He gave me just 5000 just out of love. You know, he, he could, you know. He, he, I so cuz been slipping like that. Man, listen. In his prime. Hey, hey, that nigga, when he said, man, Cause I know him, you know, cause I, I hung out with uh, all the niggas and shit. So he said, man, it's only one motherfucking Milwaukee, man, that I believe can get my jury back in Ken. I need mean, you to keep you my jury. And it's just so crazy, it was so crazy. The niggas that had the jury, they told me they had the jury, but they never told me it was a mystical jury. Mm. So I just put two and two together and I called them and they some good niggas, man. And the nigga that had the jury, believe it or not, he got triple life in your town right now yeah. in New Orleans. Yeah, you got a triple life city. So, you know, at least go Milwaukee niggas be over there a lot over on Chef, right? So, uh, I got the niggas jury back, you know, okay. and, uh, you know, me and him been cool ever since. He always do shows for me for free. For sure. And uh, I had a little shit. He's like, you know, a little, you know, he used to spend a little money with okay. you know, Mr. Angle. He, he, don't, he don't care about that. <laughs> nah, sure. He was crazy about that little man. They want them up. Snappers in between the legs. You know? <laughs> Mr. said, Man, I can't pull out. He I said, Hey, that's what it's supposed to be, nigga. That's what keeps spending money, man. Hey, cuz, what's come with no shame to cuz, gang? That nigga used to talk about it in his songs. Like, nah, I mean, anybody that know Mystical know me know that, that his manager uh, hit me up not too long ago. Black man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the biggest, you know, I was, I was, you know, I, you know, Juvie, you know, Baby, when they first started, I was there. Yeah. The office they had Matter of fact, matter of fact, I didn't mean to cut you off, bro. Was you at Juvie? I needed in my life video shoot. Yeah, I was I, there. So, bro, I saw you. Yeah, the one. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, uh, hold on. Y'all was at the store at Quickies. Yeah. Right by the courthouse. Yeah. So that's where I stayed in my neighborhood. So yeah, I yeah. can see all that from my house. Yeah, yeah. It's a school I, across I, the street. I, I was in the video and uh 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 uh, uh, uh we was in the Green May back with baby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we was in the Green May back. And we shot a scene over there by the county jail over there. By the jail, yeah. Yeah, we shot by the jail. Yeah, that's where the street. That's where you live at? Yeah, I, I stayed. I could see that bitch from my house. So I seen the pimps. I seen y'all like, I'm like, man, look at that dude. I'm like, dude, we shoot a video. He was yeah. shooting, I need it. Yeah, and then the car light was, the car light was right down the street. If you go get the pull, they pull the video up, you'll see me in the video. Yeah, yeah I, I seen y'all. That was crazy. Yeah. That was a long time ago. 
long time ago. For sure, I seen you. Yeah. Oh, you was a shorty then, wasn't you? Yeah, yeah, that's my dog saying that's my hood right there. Yeah, from. yeah, yeah. Well, you know, all all of New Orleans, man, I, I done rode through all because, you know, my smoke weed, so I'd be right in the churches. You know, you had to go and be like, you know, to get churches, that, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. That's be the car wash over there. Man, that's crazy. You know, the Mexico, your cousin, like I said, that's crazy because, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I got all this jewelry back. But, you know, he, it wasn't on no robbery shit. You know, it was some other shit, you know, that have played him. And them niggas was pimps, and, you know what I'm saying? For he, sure, he for sure. He called me. For sure. And, you know, anyway, I, we got it back, and, and, you know, everybody was happy. I just leave it at that. For sure, for sure. Yeah, but, man, so so you said, uh, Mystical, your cousin. Yeah, and, my and, cousin. And, and I, and so, I really, Mystical being your cousin, and growing up and seeing P and cash money and all that shit, you know, you know, you you a hot commodity right now. I mean, did you feel that you had to, you know, just go a little harder as a youngster when you finally got in, you came down here and got the music, did you feel that you know that you had to take it to another level? I mean in your city. I did, but I, I was looking at everybody out here. I wasn't really paying attention to my city. Once I got out here and started rapping, mm -hmm. what was going on in my city, it wasn't no current rappers. Like everybody who did their thing was kinda like Oh, then, so I'm looking at the local scene out here, yeah. and, and, and and ain't none of them was no mysticals, no Lil Wayne, no Master P, no Babies. So I felt like I had action. Mm -hmm. But that's how I seen it. It really was like easy, like it was in arms reach. Mm -hmm. Like man, these niggas ain't really hard like that. Like mm -hmm. I could be one of the hottest dudes out here. Yeah, and that's so, what I got into. So, so that was a smart move. So, so when you was in school, like did you? I mean, when you get into trouble or stuff like that, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, fighting. You was a bad kid. A lot of fighting, man. I don't. I, okay, so growing up in New Orleans, bro, I was a good kid. Mm -hmm. I was getting straight A's because the school system trash. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, like I wasn't really just doing that until I moved to Texas. When I moved to Texas, I thought I was a good kid, but my grades started dropping because the school system was high. So, so I got tests and shit, I'm smoking and shit. So they look at me as bad. Yeah. To me, I'm just a regular guy. Compared, compared to the shit that was going on, all this shit, damn, these niggas, I got lazy now. Exactly, you know what I'm exactly. Nigga got me strapped at 12, 13 over there. Exactly. No, I mean, the head bus is as young as mother. I exactly. see you know, exactly. and it's been like this for years, bro. Trust me, take you from OG. Y'all city been crazy for years. For sure. Years on top of years. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So you get here, and uh, what baby was you in? I was in, well, when Katrina, I was sixth grade, seven, eight. So I was in the eighth grade. I skipped the seventh. So when did you decide to fuck with the music? Um, ninth grade, I had a fight. I got put on the basketball team, and that was it. So you just quit, grade. quit school at ninth grade? Right? No, nah, I was still in. I quit basketball. Best. And I started rapping. Oh, so you had, some, you had a hoop game. Yeah, you I was hooping for sure. So Man, I was, a, I was a freshman on, on the uh, varsity squad. That's hard. That's hard to beat. And then you must have got, got them handles there. Yeah, I was cold. I was yeah. cold. I just had an attitude. You said cold. Michael Jordan cold. I was cold. Jordan cold. I was Jordan cold. I just had an <laughs> attitude. Like, I, I had that new one. Hey, I'm going to play you one on one, man. Come on, man. We got to do it. Let's do it, man. Hey, you have my old ass around here. <laughs> nah, for real. Nah, for real. He said, Joy Cole, that's a hell of a cold, man. Nah, for sure. I'm, I was hard. That's cold. I'm still hard, you feel me? Yeah, man. So, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm about to uh, see you play one day, man. So, uh, go ahead. So, I transitioned to the rapping in the ninth grade. And um, by that time, like I said, the cash money, when I was around cash money, no limit and all that, I ain't even know these was rappers. These just my mama friends. And these okay. just people on my mama. Mm -hmm. Mystical. He my famous cousin, but I ain't really thinking that deep into it. When I'm grown, cousin jail off mm -hmm. his first case. Yeah. All the cash money stuff. Like now I got these stories, and now I'm, I'm realizing that I was part of history. Yeah, I was boy. witnessing history. Yeah, like boy. damn, I was in, I was at the bling bling video shoot. I was at Baller Block and uh, movie set. Like just, yeah. like, dang, I was around some history. So now that's when I start like, okay, I gotta carve my own history out here. And I ain't got no competition, cause ain't nobody did it that big coming from Texas except for like the Houston wave. But it was like, man, I knew, yeah, you I knew know, all the you know Mo Three was doing it. Mo Three wasn't rapping. What well, I'm talking about? Oh, you talking about? I love you talking about. Mo Three they ain't start rapping till after after we came put it down. Oh, okay. So, yeah. but no, what about your beats? He after too? Man, listen. Okay, I'm gonna put it like this. It's a video man named Half Pint Films in Texas, right? He's mm -hmm. the biggest I, I video. Yeah. I was Half Pint first video. Oh, she looking for all of this then. So Half Pint say if if it wasn't for Mike Fresh, he wouldn't be doing music videos. Oh, so you this that facts. Video. So you younger than them niggas, don't you? I'm in everybody, I'm the baby. So so we, me, 
half pint, I'm gonna add Lil Ronnie Mother F2, the one who we got me and throw ass in the circle. Mm -hmm. uh, so us three, man, we started a wave out here that don't get talked about a lot, and everybody else come after us. But if I, I could pull up videos, man, yellow bees in the background of our shows, bro. Like, all these dudes was like kind of running with us until they got their, you know. Yeah. Once the city start getting his name, and see, man, that go back to what I was saying, like, it wasn't nobody from here that did it that big. So now the people that's actually from here start coming up when we start doing our thing. It why, was why, easy to say. Why do you think they came up? Before y'all came up, you think they just man? Okay, the right to, time or something? to to them and to everybody else, we was out already. To to yeah. all of them, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about commercial success. Okay, so they they them. was actually from here. Okay, yeah. I think they when they do something, it was more champion. Mm -hmm. When we do something, it was just like yeah, them niggas great. They they always do. That's shit. what I'm saying. You, you think it's because of the business side of it? Um, I think it's coming out from here. Mm -hmm. I think it's that that, is, that play a major part. I'm not from here, and I think the expectations for me is high. They want to see me pop out with Drake or something. They want to see me pop out with Kippy Ken or something. Like, okay. well, it's over you now. feel me? <laughs> so when, when they see these dudes do something I already did, they get excited. Mm -hmm. That's how they get on. But you done it already. But they don't get excited. It's like like uh, that one rapper says, "Cool, they do it. It's a problem. I do it." So straight far. like that. But that that's what make me have to go harder. So when you ask me to see it all of them make me go hard, it wasn't that would make me go hard. It's like it's harder for me. Like the expectation yeah, is yeah. The, the fact that's that's how I feel sometimes too. Like I be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I've been doing this shit for 30 years. Now, you know what I'm saying? I'm finally getting my break. I signed Boosie, signed Ice, you know, signed uh, Rick Ross to our company, you know, created the hip hop fraternity. So finally after all these years, I've started to see the shit that I was saying all the time. For sure, if you go back and you look at my, like you said, go back to YouTube, you see I've been talking this unity shit for a long time. For sure, you have, for sure, yeah. for sure. So, so, so now that you rapping and shit, you know what I'm saying, I mean, you know, what was your first single that really pushed you over the top? Um, so, I'm gonna say throw that in the circle, cause they had oh, more a, commercial a success. But before that, it was a song called My Man. Like my Man, a beat up. I'm gonna say the main chick. Say the lyrics, so let me hear it. They start off, I got a big booty from the south. She a freak, but a knock him out. Yeah, yeah, cut my main. So it's like a club song. That turned up the clubs, like, regional success, like. And, and, nigga, and, and niggas, niggas know that shit word for word. For word man, I, I, every time I do a show, I go out there and say the first few words and let the crowd rap it. Yeah, Before I see I that, man. My show. So the other song that's, that's doing a. Uh, Bounce When She Walk. No, no, the one that you throw the ass in the circle. That's the one that's commercially successful, right? That one. And Bounce When She Walk, that's the newest one. We dropped that last year. Let me, let me hear that. Let me hear that. Yeah, bounce that. When She Walk. Bounce When She Walk. Bounce When She Walk. That's new. We just dropped that it's last serious. year. It, it clap when she walk. 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 When she walk. She shaking yeah. very well. Yeah. yeah. See, you know, uh, you remember that song that y'all used to play in New Orleans? It's like a song. It come on to everybody. Do, 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 do. It's like, uh, 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 uh. Get it ready, get it ready, get it ready, ready. Yeah. I say, girl, don't you do that? Oh, you say, do the, uh, do the yeah, 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 yeah. Man, that they, you know, they do it. That's Jubilee. Old, yeah, that's yeah, Jubilee. Yeah, that's a that's an old ass song. But you know, New Orleans always had that kind of big band, kind of like a, a, a blues type. You know, mixed with culture type thing. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's a lot sure. of culture. For sure. People don't know that. I, sure. I believe Louis Armstrong from New Orleans. Louis Armstrong right? definitely from New Orleans. So, so you know, I think people don't really give New Orleans the credit, especially you know when you look at the Mardi Gras and shit like that. Uh, you familiar with Kermit Ruffins? Uh, not, not trumpet player. Yeah, I, not no. Okay. I probably you know I studied jazz when I was in college. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. When I was in prison, I took a couple college courses here, so okay. I may sure. have came across them, but so uh. When you think about Jubilee and you think about the other song you just said, mm -hmm. do you when you rapping, do you think like, oh, I'm gonna make these motherfuckers get on there, get off the ass? It's that's natural. The, yeah, that's the New Orleans yeah, thing. Yeah, it's right? natural. Like this, the way I talk with the type of beats I get on, they gonna dance automatically. Cause I came in, I wasn't even on that. Like I was like a real rapper trying to be lyrical and stuff. So when you was making throw that ass in a circle, you seen people, bitches dancing like like last night. When he was playing, they was playing at the club, 
everybody was throwing their ass in the circle all the time. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I ain't gonna know if they was, but you know what I mean? Twerking, man, it's nah, like the sure. whole club, they ain't no half You seen one pull the, uh, they, the uh, breaks out? Yeah, I mean, you, I was on stage with you. I was like, what the? Nah, she, it was lit. And she had some nipples like this one and shit, you know what I'm saying? She, and she had, they had no clothes on. And that amazed me. I was telling my uh, my artist, uh, uh, Jeff Boy Cash and uh, uh, Bash, I was like, man, damn. I said, man, I ain't never seen this before. I done been to all the clubs everywhere, man, you know, but dog, you had them women up there. They came specifically in bikinis and booty shorts, Daisy Dukes, just because that's what throw the ass in the circle is all about. Yeah, my music. So how do it feel to have that much influence on, I mean, like, no bullshit. I ain't trying to gas you up. I mean, what, how do it feel to have so many people just, like, there specifically for you, you know what I'm saying, I me? Mean, no, they just want to see that ass in the circle. I mean, they were just, and then the girl stood up on the uh, speaker. You see that? Yeah, she was not seen. in the circle. Yeah. And, 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 and we had to get out of there because uh, Bash was like, oh, man, these niggas told her ass. I said, I said, Hey, yo, they, they be doing it too. That's crazy. Bash was saying, I'm ready to go, man. That's crazy. You know, I'm, about, I'm, about, I'm, about, I'm about to spaz out on one of these niggas, man, you know, because they was like, because they was too close to him and they was throwing their ass in the circle. You know what I'm saying? That shit was funny, though. Yeah, it's like, but, uh, they be doing that yeah, shit too. Yeah, man. yeah, but, but is that everywhere you go? Yeah. So have, has New Orleans, your hometown, have they picked up on that yet? Did, did they throw their ass in the circle too? They, they are. So look, let me tell you something funny about that. They still don't know that it's a New Orleans native that's part of these songs. They might hear my accent when they hear it, but they still don't know yet. Now they definitely throwing their ass in a the circle. They definitely bouncing when she walk. This these songs is going worldwide. They know them, but that's the thing with me. Like when you in the south, you might bring my name up and say my fresh, and people would be like, oh yeah, I know, bro. But you could go anywhere in the world. You say my fresh, they gonna be like, I don't know. Name my songs. They gonna know. Oh yeah, they know the song, but they don't know they the don't name of the person. Song. And, and it's probably like four, five songs people know of me and don't know me yet. So that's where my you know, career at. That's, that's why I said that's I work hard. HHF is gonna keep you, but we finna make sure, you know, and, and all my HHF brothers and sisters, hey man, first of all, before I tell y'all to share shit, before I tell y'all to get behind this brother, but give them a perspective on all of the streams you got, the albums that they went platinum and gold. Can you Man, we got we got over a billion streams and a billion streams come from one song that we just dropped last year, Bounce When She Walked. It's bigger than throw that ass in a circle, bro. It, it, it's all over China, Africa, Rome. They doing the challenge, the clap, the TikTok challenge. Cash know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Over a billion streams, bro. So that's for the cert that's certified platinum. Most of the uh, streams come from overseas. But matter of fact, I can show you the flyer, bro. We had the number one song on TikTok um, last year. They've been touring and they've been, yeah, see, they've been me booking. Me personally, I've been touring and getting booked. Over the years, like honestly, I've been getting show money all my like all these years ever since I moved to Texas. But now I got the streaming bag now, like from a billion streams. Okay, like I've been getting show time. money. That's a different bag. But this, I ain't, yeah, cause he thought that's when Circle dropped before stream was even a thing. So I was getting millions of streams before people was getting paid for streams. Mm -hmm. So when that started coming out, I had to do it again. You see what I'm saying? So, so did you? Give you any calls from the record labels yet? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I probably talk to everybody in the game, but like, I don't know. It's always a conflict of interest, or like, I always had these meetings with these people. What they say sound good, but when we leave from right there, that was it. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna be tired of having You know, because uh, I was talking to Twisted, uh, Twisted Black one day, and he was telling me, he said, "Man, what happens is, you know, if you're a street nigga and you still active, or you still, you know, niggas know you in the hood." They end up calling one of them niggas, them niggas that usually put a bad mouth on you. Okay. Because, you know what I'm saying, there's no way that no businessman is going to see somebody as prolific as you in the music and doing as well as you do and don't fuck with you. Yeah. Okay. It has to be you got somebody in the background. So I'm going to tell you, so yeah, I'm, I'm being hid from all those people. Mm -hmm. It don't stop me from making money, Right. but I'm definitely being kept from all those right. people. Well, well, you know, that's why we at the Hip Hop Fraternity, and I got a lot of connections, I know you know that, but you know, like I said, you know, I didn't help a lot of people in the rap game, a lot of brothers, you know, Pimp C, I see, manage him, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, I'm, but, like, I'm kind of behind the scene, 
I'm the nigga that go in there with the finesse in the game, man. You play the white folks out there, pay for finesse, sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. You know, I actually got Boosie six figures. For sure. You know, I actually got Ice T six figures. Got sure. Corey Wise six figures. You know, I go in there on some other shit. You for know sure. what I mean? Because sure. you know, I'm a, I'm a boss. You know what I'm saying? I've been having money all my life, and I'm not scared of money. So sure. white folks don't scare me with no million dollars. To, that shit don't mean nothing to me. For sure. So that's what you need, man. You need brothers like. Myself, brothers like Vado Cash, you know, so we could, you know, be of assistance to you. Absolutely. Because, see, your gift going to take you where your character can't go, my brother. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So you can take the ghetto, you can take the ghetto, you can't take the, the ghetto out of nigga. Yeah. So sometimes when you have a, 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 a real street background like me and like yourself, and we from the real, we from the blade and from the trap. We're going to talk about all that shit, for sure, too. For sure. You know what I'm saying? You know, we need people to go in there and speak on our behalf. Absolutely. That's just what bosses do. For sure. For I sure. should never have to talk to you. For sure. And nobody should ever talk to you. For sure. And when you go in there and you sit down and you talk for yourself, that's when they lose respect for yeah, you. Yeah, bring that out a little bit. But when, if you got somebody like me to go in there, you know, like I go in there and talk with Boosie and yeah, I see now, that. now yeah. it's a whole different level. When they talking to me, I speak the language. Yes, it's, sir. it's called Latin. Yes, sir. They don't speak English, they speak Latin. It's sure. just a whole lot. I mean, it's words that they use that will blow your mind. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but when you got somebody that know how to talk, they talk and can show those strings and can do the number. Because, see, money is a science. Two plus two equals what? And where? United States, China, Canada, anywhere. anywhere. You understand know I me? Mean? But if you get up there and you do bounce that ass in a circle and you use your artistic ability, that's an art. Yeah. There's a difference. Yeah. See, you're artistic. Yeah. You got great talent, but the science is what we got to get yeah. into. And I, I want to show you something too, man. Somebody in China reached out to me and asked me how much to come. I said 10K. They said we could do six shows if you drop your price down to 65. So it'd be like 65 for 10 shows. They basically trying to set me up like a tour in China. Mm -hmm. And um, like that's one thing. And then back to the Black Bob conversation, bro. Like say Cheese TV. If you don't told them 20, you know, they told you we give you 15. See, that's what you got to learn about business. Like whenever you want something, like when I went for the Boosie deal, I don't ask for a half a million, I ask for a million. Because I know they're gonna negotiate me down to a half of me. For sure. But if we only need the two hundred thousand, then we three hundred thousand and what we want to ask for. for sure. That's the only way whenever you negotiate, you always negotiate high. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And that's why they do you like that, because everybody wants a deal. You feel what I'm saying? I mean that's just some few yeah. chopped up yeah. no, I appreciate So so that. so how how that work though? I mean is 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 uh, we we should we still in negotiation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't never been overseas yet, so I gotta do that. They gonna pay for the room and board. Yeah, and visa, everything. They were talking about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's gonna be my first hot, time. Bro. They call and they be hot. For sure. But see, another thing you don't want to you know you want to get into the system and hot because see rap you know you got rappers that's bombed right now getting fifty thousand. Yeah. You get rappers that's ain't rapping twelve years. You know twenty years they get fifty thousand. For sure. So you know. Part of life is knowing your value. You don't send that bitch out the door, tell her to turn ten dollars tickets. <laughs> you gonna say, I need my five hundred or better, bitch. So, you know what I'm saying? So you know it's the same concept. You know, put value on yourself first. The rapping is, I just be like, whatever. I love to do it. It's hard for me to kind of be most stern on my music business because I love it like to go to China and to rap and it's down there for like free money, like. That shit there, it'd be different. Like, it's easy to manage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But with the rap, it's like, it went, I, I had to turn it from a hobby to business. And I still be like, finding myself showing all this love that I wouldn't show over here. You know what I'm so, saying? So, so, you know, uh, I, I'm saying, you know, you, you, you come from New Orleans, you know, you, your mom put you in school. So, <clears throat> so did you ever hustle? Like, you ever sell dope? For sure. I, I was hustling, like, the whole time, whole time, teenager, all the way up. Cause so when I was, which was to have like dime sticks or ounces, or pounds, pounds for sure. Are you selling that weed? Yeah, I moved up. Y'all selling that weed? I was in school. I was selling all that, bro. I moved up to the pounds, bro. <coughs> so, but that shit, that wasn't really what you want. I mean, I mean, it was it was giving me by, bro, from a teenage up until to being grown. Even when I was getting paid shows, I was still coming back. 
flipping pounds and stuff. But once I uh once I first met my first bro, man, that's when I stopped. I put them pounds down. Yeah, you know yeah. See, see, pimping. If you a pimp, you could be a, that could be a noun, person, place, or thing. Yeah. But when you're pimping, that's an active that's, verb. Yeah. That's an action verb. That means that you active and attractive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of niggas, you know, they say I'm a pimp, but they ain't got no yeah. you know, ING mean I'm not going to send that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's a big difference, you know what I'm saying? For sure. And a lot of niggas that read my books, they be like, um, you know what? I said, man, listen, man, you can't be a pimp unless you got a For sure. You know? So when you realize that it's like you, I mean, you know. From the beginning, like, from the beginning, it's, I, um, shout out to Fan Life Herbicide, man, Juju them from East Oakland, man. Mm -hmm. I was running with some older cats from Oakland. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm young. I ain't got no business with these older dudes, but I'm running with some cats from Oakland. They seeing the females all in my face. They pimping. They walking them down. They sweating them. But all the females coming to me, mm -hmm. and they telling me, "Fresh, you tripping?" Even at the time when I ain't had no car or whatever, they like, "Fresh, what you doing?" Mm -hmm. At first, I ain't understand, bro. But but it took about a year or two, and I started seeing even when the first one actually came and paid that so fee. So you got your first trap. How much was it? Twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred. Yeah. That yeah. I was young nigga. I was eighteen years old. That made me say, "Hold up, wait a minute." Yeah. <laughs> and this was everything. <laughs> These dudes been telling me this for two, three years. I almost didn't believe it when it happened. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The white or black? Black. Black. Which one you prefer, black or white? Um, mm -hmm. man. I ain't gonna lie, everybody say white ones, but man, white people, they be scared of me, bro. They act like they scared of me or something. Well, you know, uh, I think, you know, it takes a certain charisma to pimp on white, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of white bitches, you know what I'm saying, they don't really want to be in no household where a nigga just really aggressive and got a lot of black, you know. Mm -hmm. White be intimidated by black hoes, but they say the white, black hoes be intimidated by, we have money wise, but. You know, you got a black, you know, she know everything you know. Yeah. She from the same block you from. Yeah. That white that came from the suburbs that she might have been what they call a wigger. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Okay. Nigga, white okay. nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they yeah, yeah. Try to be black, you know, but, uh, you know, yeah, the white, they require, you know, just a little bit more finesse, you know what I'm saying? You know, but, you know, if a nigga used to just, eh, mash it, yeah. then, you know what I'm saying? Let's get a lot of white over it. Now, once they turn niggerized, once they become yeah, they used to that. Yeah, once they become ducks <laughs> in swan suits, because you know a duck in swan suit is a white to act black. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So yeah, so at some point in junction they come in. So 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 at 18 you get your first. Yeah. Then when you get your next. At 18. 18. At oh, 18. You know, so, so, 18. So so when I get her, I I, I take her to Austin, Texas. We go to Austin, Texas, and she had me um, pick up a homegirl. Her homegirl was going to pay me to give her a ride back to the city with us. Mm -hmm. And she was she, she dropped that fee. It wasn't just no ride. Like, I was trying to drop her off somewhere. Mm -hmm. She like, nah, I needed a ride back with y'all, and I'm staying with y'all. Yeah, so she was another. So, she had that turned to two. She had two turned to three, but then I lost one. <laughs> So I was, I was too deep. Like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I served you like a well, well, yeah, well, 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 that's why I can't even say what I prefer because I ain't even really did white that. Yeah, so I can't say that's what I prefer. You think that's just that New Orleans in you, man? Just loving the, that, the, that rawness? And I love all. I love them all for real. I think I think that's what love me. Yeah. You feel me? Like, they see that rawness on me and be like, man, that's something about this nigga. Mm -hmm. I don't think the, 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 the white folks see the nothing. You know, see that. Like you said, it's going to take a little more. For the next, it's gonna take a little more. This little bit. Yeah, yeah, got groovy too. Me, I'm so raw. Like it's like, man, man, I, I want to see this nigga up. So, so the niggas that you grew up with, New Orleans, you know, I know them niggas fight deep, deep in the streets. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Blood, like street. Yeah, niggas. for sure. Do them niggas be hating on you, or do they be like supporting you? Like, goddamn, fresh. You know what I'm saying, man? You know, man. You know, we from the block. You know what I'm saying? We from the uh, third world. We from Cali. It's a mix. Clothes, but. 
Yeah, they tore yeah. it out, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Do they, do they have that? It's yeah. a mix. Like, so most of them, like, it's half and half. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of them do love me. I come from where they come from, and you know, they show love. But a lot of them do hate, like, that I need to evolve. So when you was in the game, you ever take you to know others and work? Yeah. Man, the, I, man so, they so how them niggas cheap when, when compared them, to everybody. When them niggas see you as little, little Mike from the block, and they see you with the bitches. How do they, and I know niggas might still got the motherfucker hand to hand. Man. I don't know what they was like. Like, damn, Mike, teach me. Nah, nah, they ain't say teach me. It's like, it ain't, it ain't for a fetch seeing me. They like, well, you finally got it now. That's what it is. You finally got it now. Because they've been seeing, like, what you seen at the show, mm -hmm. it's been like this before I even knew how to do what I'm doing, you feel me? Once I got off of two, of everybody was like, okay, he finally got it. You I think that's why this shit was made so, so good yeah, because you come good. from, you, you got the game? Yeah. So you know, a lot of times, you, when, you, when you sing and you know these hoes, you know what to tell the girls. I know what I'm telling them. Yeah, I know exactly so you know, like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to give these hoes some instructions to my music. In the song, yeah. And I'm yeah. not going to rap like all these other pimp niggas. I'm not going to be just rapping about the pimp. Yeah. But I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a trick them. Through, through, through the music to, 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 to know that they really with the game, but I ain't got to just push up on them and say, yeah, hey, it's the game. It's, that's another thing. I, I was rapping before I even got into the game. Right. And then when I got into the game, like I kept that in the streets kind of like everything else. Mm -hmm. So like, I, I, I wasn't really just straight rapping people or like, you know, a lot of these niggas is internet pimps. Like, all they do all the people online, they gonna rap about it, and you see them in real life and you never ain't gonna see no one. Like with me, it was like the opposite. It was like if you knew me in the streets like that, that's how you get it. And then the rap image is like, okay, I see a lot of women. So you might not rap about the women, but niggas see you got seven eight bitches with you. Okay, and, but it's certain stuff I'm saying in the songs where if you know, you know you got game and you know. Yeah. But I ain't just on there pimping on the songs. Like I don't, I don't do pimp hop because I look at that like drill. Yeah. Like a nigga could pick up some guns and be on there screaming on the camera. Mm -hmm. And act like he killed a hundred niggas, mm -hmm. and it's just like the character. Yeah, and that's how I look at so it. Like a, lot, a lot of these niggas is pimp hopping, this character. This character, yeah. And you know, it's crazy because you know, sometimes man, I I, I have an opportunity to interview niggas, and you know, when I first meet them, they say, "Oh man, it's this is this is this is this and then once I get to talking to them, you know what I'm saying? Man, I'm like, oh, you know. It's all a smoking mirrors. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He ain't about that life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, you gotta be born, not sworn. Seems like you sworn yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm like I uh, you know, I agree to be a pimp type shit. I wasn't listen, I cause I, I wasn't the one trying to like read books and trying to watch all the I ain't even know nothing about the shit and when niggas was trying to tell it to me, I wasn't trying to hear. Yeah. But when it all kinda came full circle, like, damn, this is what these niggas was talking about. I yeah. accepted that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see you know you about that life. So let me ask you a question, you know, making it and selling a billion, doing a billion streams and going platinum in your music and going through that struggle, which you was talking about, you seen Yellow Beezy and Mo3 make it when you feel like, damn, these little niggas was in my video at one time or, you know, I kind of kicked this shit off. Do you ever say to yourself, now that I'm rising in the game, you know, I want to work with this person? You know, like for example, if BG wanted to do a feature, would you feature with BG? Yeah. Would you feature with G's? Yeah. Oh, so you, it is. So I got a story. Favorites. I I know. I kind of know BG. Like my mama was real cool with BG. Um, okay. I got two stories with BG. One time he was in my living room, bro. It was my first time. Like, did that BG in my living room? Like <laughs> smoking with moms. Um, man, I, he so he had left cash money. I had some Birdman lugs. I was showing off. And he, he kind of was like, man, we got to get this nigga some new shoes. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. Another time, I don't know if we was at the Bling Bling video shoot or the ball blocking. Him and Killer Stone, them, um, we was at the mall. They had a tour bus at the mall. I had to go pee. Mm -hmm. They let me go on the tour bus to go pee. It was like 100 women on there. I was young. Mm -hmm. I went to go pee, and I just stayed on the bus. I was talking to the women. I was on there for like an hour and a half till everybody started looking for me. My mom and BG all looking for me. Trying to pimp me. Right? Trying to pimp me. I'm in there with all the girls. All the girls got like, man, come on, this little nigga crazy. This nigga trying to knock you for your bitches, man. <laughs> but then when I say I've been like, I'm young as I'm young as hell. You it's know, it's you been know, like that. You know, you know, all the little niggas, man. You know, BJ, all of them, my little niggas, right? Yeah. When they was babies, and and me, I used to be with, uh, you know. Uh, Birdman, and I'll be talking.
talking to him in the hallway. And I know you might have heard Turk say the story. Man, Ken used to be with Baby for hours talking about the game, right? Because Baby always wanted to be in the game, you know? And he actually had action at one of my, he told her, uh, yeah, uh, I give you uh, ten thousand if you take that. Uh, this is her her version story. I heard baby bird. If you take that, uh, now she had right that can that K that K off your off your off your breast. Oh, she had put cash money. Then she had my tattoo. You know, uh, when the Hulk gave me some of my money, she get to a hundred thousand. Bitch get a tattoo. You know what I'm saying? That bitch had it pass it pass a hundred thousand. And so baby wanted her to take it out. She came back and told me. You know, I never told her that. But I mentioned on one of the show uh, on my man. Uh, it's yeah, crazy, man. Yeah, so, but, 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 you know, I knew that, I knew that, I mean, you know, you see BG holding my book up, giving shots out. So, you know, that's, these my little niggas, man, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and you saying that you grew up with them and y'all all from New Orleans, man, I can see that. Because, you know, New Orleans is small. It's a small For little sure. terrace and shit. That motherfucker ain't as big. Mm -hmm. so, so, okay, now that you're going back, you said niggas in New Orleans ain't really with the hits right now? Well, no, I'm not. Nah, they know it. I'm saying they they know the hits. They fuck with them because the world fuck with them. Mm -hmm. they don't, a lot of them don't know it's me. Like my family members do or people from my neighborhood. Man, how in the hell they don't know that's you? They just don't know. <coughs> like, even, like, I could go to your city and, and perform, and I could probably do a show like I did last night. It'd probably be... Not as word for word, but some of them songs gonna do that. But I could walk in there with you, and then it ain't nobody gonna even pay no attention to me. Pay me no mind. You know. And then when I grab that microphone, that's when I'm like, what the? That's him. That's him. And when I get off stage, that's when everybody gonna be like, oh shit, I didn't even know. And hey, Mike, let me tell you a story. And you remind me of Lil John. I'm, I'm my uh, man, Lil John. This boy was famous, right? We over at uh, Two Short House. We doing the video. Yeah. And uh, while we doing the video, we got real cool. I think it was Loaded Whistles or some shit like that. Yeah. And so we got real cool. And it was the same thing. We were walk he had a hit song. We were walking the club. And when nobody even know it was Lil John. He even talked about this in the Double XL. I said, Lil John, check this out. I'm going to give you a pimp cut. I'm going to put Lil John on. When I got him the pimp cut, what happened to him? Oh, he God had super yeah. duper famous. Say. Yeah, yeah, he'll tell you that. He'll tell you that. He says in the XXL, he said, Pippa Ken gave me the pimp cup and, you know, she, she went crazy. crazy you know, so it's shout it's out cool. to Miss Debbie, you know. So, uh, you know, I got, you know, that that's that's what I do, man. You know, I mean, I can show brothers, you know, like, like Pimp C, man. All of them brothers, yeah. man. They, if they be honest, man, they'll tell you, man, you know, that's what I do. I try to help people out, man, because, you know, God just gave me a vision to see stuff that other people can't see. But that's what you need, bro. You just need one little small thing to tweak. You know what I'm saying? That, that you know, I, I ain't say put a, 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 a tattoo in the middle of your forehead or nothing like that. But you need something that's going to make you stand out, you know, from the crowd. If you notice, every time you see me, I wear a suit. No, I wear a suit today because you know, this is an HHF moment. Yeah. You become a, a member of the HHF. Yeah, so I try to fly though. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, these really? motherfuckers fly like a falcon. <laughs> Come on, you know what yeah. I'm talking about? Yeah. Hey, man. hey, bitch, please believe it, homie. You know what I'm talking about? Ain't nothing changed, man. Come but, on, you man. know, the material. So, yeah, man, so, uh, do you ever be like, man, fuck this music shit? I'm just gonna mash on these. And then you say, fuck these bitches. I'm just gonna sure go hard on my music. I mean, honestly, that's. I don't be doing music or be trying to do music. I'm just blessed that like people rock with me. Like last night, I, they called me to do that show. They paid me, so I had to pull up. Mm -hmm. I ain't doing no rapping. I ain't. When I did Bounce When She Walked, somebody called me to the studio to come do a verse. Most of my music stuff be forced, like, and I'm mashing at 24 7 though. But even before that, it was like when I was rapping or trying to be an aspiring rapper, when I was broke and everybody was trying to tell me how to get some money, I wasn't trying to hear that. It kind of flipped. Like, I'm mad 24-7. I'm getting my money. And I'm still a rapper because these songs is being successful, but I don't be putting no effort into the, the music industry. It's just like effort. It's like, it's just like, you know So what you, you just tell it. You know, that's why I see your gift will take you where your character can't go. For sure. You know they should call them, right? For sure. You know what I mean, man, you know, I believe, man, with the right team and the right people, man, and all my people out there in the music industry, give me a call, 404-790-9627, and 
Hey man, we need to work with my man, my fresh man. I'm talking about because <laughs> you that dude, man. Appreciate it. Bro, that. I was in there with you, man. You seen it with your man, All them hoes was all over you. Them niggas was singing your song, fam. Now, I tell niggas at the HHF this all the time. Once you step in that booth, Mike, you become an entrepreneur. When Michael Jackson sold over a billion dollars worth of records, he didn't know when he was that little kid in Indiana that he was going to be a billionaire once he stepped in that booth. Hey, man, listen, man. God gave you this talent, bro. And he's very talented. You And you have great potential. And, man, HHF here. We the hip hop train. We're going to work with you, bro. We want to work with you. And you know I'm good. You know Boosie. If Boosie said to me, you know I'm good. If I see these, some, these the realest niggas. Rick Ross, these are all bosses. These ain't no niggas that just signed the niggas. So, you know what I mean? I, I, I can say, you know, that I believe that if we work together, man, that we can make this shit happen. But, you know, that ain't why I'm here, man. It's really about you. And, you know, we want to get paid. So, uh, you on tour, you know. When you when I used to travel with uh, Baby and all them, you know, I used to see them niggas and... 50 Cent, you know what I'm saying? I always have my work with me. You know what I'm saying? Do you ever, you know, <laughs> you see some niggas here, be like, them niggas, these niggas, man, you be like, damn, this nigga talking all this pimping, but, you know, they yeah, work like this bitch. Yeah. yeah. Crazy, right? Yeah, you like, yeah. So, 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 how do you, uh, if you, I know you ain't in the game like that no more, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean we, you know, just for, for the record, you know what I'm saying? We ain't in the game, you know, we ain't lazy chat, we just talking. Yeah, we just talking. You know what I'm saying? So when you go on the track, you see, see the niggas out there, the so-called peas, yeah, no. you know what I'm saying? Do you think that all them niggas is 100? you think there's a lot of fake? No, 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 that's a lot of fake. And this one nigga was, he was sweating my work out there one time. He come up to me, what's up, bro? I'm leaking. I ain't got no car, I ain't got no bed, I ain't got nothing. All in my face, you need to get with some game though. I'm the both hands out. And I'm talking about, man, this nigga crazy. Yeah. So you think a lot of niggas say they pimping, but they be mis pimping. Sound good in the motherfucker too. You know, and I used to always tell a nigga that too. I mean, I mean, I, I don't have no problem with no leaking pimp, you know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, I give a lot of leak pimp, a lot of leaking pimp for yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, man, that if you've been in the game for five or ten years, and you still ain't got a bitch, and you still out there sweating to the bitch, man. Maybe you might need to find you a day job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, because it is a man's son for real. No, nah, you know. Sure. Okay, so uh, if you got folks and they always you was all having sex, you was having sex with all. Which bitch the kind? Of, which which bitch you you come in the kind of for? Is, is, is the bottom, the new to you know. Man, it's a trick question. I, I gotta be protected with all of them. Now, I know you. I know you don't have protection on, but I'm just saying you, you still got a nut. So when you nut, do you nut in, in your main? Because they're gonna be looking at you. If you nut in your main bitch, hey, no, your no, mother no. bitch, they ain't gonna nut in none of them. Uh -uh. So you pull it out. Yeah. Okay. And hey, I ain't never nutted in nobody. I'm 29 years old. I ain't never nutted in nobody. I ain't got no kids. I ain't. Oh, uh, you mashing for real? And I ain't never nutted in nobody. I'm I ain't had no kids since I was 31. So what what's the difference? Do, do, do you believe in bottle bitches? Um, man bitches. Kind, yeah, kind. I do. So how you? What is a bottle bitch? I mean, employee of the month. That's how. <laughs> 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 With the job of cop, somebody <laughs> employee of the month. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's I never heard that. One. <laughs> I I've been pimping a long time back in the day. You know what I'm saying? I never heard that. One. But, uh, so to get the most money is the one that's the top Employee bitch. of the money, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Or, or, you know, the attitude, everything. It's all around. Uh, yeah. The money, the attitude, just, you know, motherfucking line. Ain't give me no issues. Employee of the money. And I'm going to say the month because they could change quick. Mm -hmm. Employee of the month. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Next yeah. money might be you. Next money might be you. Yeah, yeah. So, so the bottom in your household can bounce around. Huh? Hey, you it, feel me? It, it, it could be the ninth, it could be the first. Come on. Whichever one that's uh, producing. Doing what she's supposed to be doing. And it ain't just as much. I'm talking about everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, everything. Being in pocket, you know what I mean? Ain't, ain't out here, you know what I'm saying? Looking at other niggas and shit. Ain't out here, you know, uh, socializing with other hoes Come and on. shit. Yeah. All that shit is important. You know, sure. a lot of these bitches, you know what I'm saying? They say they real bitches, but. 
You know, a lot of levels of beef tradition, sure. a lot of fish, you know what I'm saying? For shit sure. that don't add up to the can of beans. For sure. For sure. So I can feel you on that, yeah, which is really the employee of the month. I mean, <laughs> hey, man, 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 Mike <laughs> he say he like that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, hey, you know, I heard a lot of things in my career, you know what I'm saying? That's something new, you know what I'm saying? So, Usually niggas be still in my line, Mike. Nah. Yeah, and you hear niggas like that. I ain't, hey. like I said, I ain't heard no books. I can't duplicate a nigga. So when I'm talking, it's me. Like, yeah. I don't know what these niggas be talking about. But you got to read my book, Mike. It's I, got book. I got it's you. Talk, I got you. I got you. Pimp Isles is the $40 again. Man, I'm for sure going to read And the other one's the Art of Human Chess. I'm going to keep it real with you. I only read two books in my whole life. Yeah. Jay Prince's book mm -hmm. and Gucci Mane's book. Yeah, Gucci, man. I got, and now, no, and now I'm starting to get into more to reading because of J. Prince. You got to read Boosie's book, too, across the tracks. That's okay. the too. So I've been, like, just sitting here, like, okay, matter of fact, I'm tripping. Uh, the, damn, how to win friends and influence people. That's yeah, Dale Carnegie. Yeah. Dale Carnegie, yeah. So I read three books. So now I'm, I'm just now getting into, like, reading. So I'm definitely going to read your book, bro. Yeah. Hey, man, you know. Hey man, I got and I wanted to, to, to read the Bible too. I wanted to read the Bible and I read the, well, read the Bible. Well, you know, if you read Dale Carnegie, uh, you read Napoleon Hill, you read the 48 Laws of Power, ain't nothing but the Bible. Everything ain't nothing new in the sun. Everything is extrapolated from something. For sure. You know what I'm saying? It's like I tell people all the time. You know, 85% of the people in the Bible is black. You know, Jesus was a black man. Even though people say, how you say that? You know, it's our Lord and Savior because it says his hair was like lamb, like his hair was like yours, his feet was like a brass burnt in the oven. That's a nigga. If you go and you look at the Justinian <laughs> coin, the Justinian, Justinian <laughs> coin has got uh, a picture of a, a baby black Jesus. You know, yeah. when you go to the uh, the Catholic Church, they got the black Madonna. That's the black Mary and the black Jesus. So we truly know that Jesus was of Moorish African descent. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so that's another reason. Read the Bible, you read about yourself. Then King Solomon, you know, he was a black man too. He was one of the wisest men known to be the wisest man on earth. For sure. You ever heard of Mansa Musa? Uh -huh. He ain't in the Bible, but he the richest black man. He the richest man ever. Okay. He had so much money that he'd go to the town, he'd give somebody a, a, a billion dollars of gold and fuck up their whole economy. Uh -huh. A black man. man. You know. And that name was kind of for me, but now I got to get into yeah, it. Yeah, another story. book is cool as Chance of Wit. It's called The Destruction of Black Civilization. Okay. You can read uh, The Conspiracy to Destroy Young Black Boys by Kwanzaa Kajufu. Okay. You know, these are the books boom. that's going to level your game up. Because, see, one thing about the ism, right, when you talk to a broad, we we'll keep a broad down and around, man, is how much you can dazzle her. You know, you got to have some information. Absolutely. In order to extrapolate or, or to regurgitate information. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Man, niggas don't know that. Niggas think it's all about some street shit, man. Mm -hmm. But you can sit down and you talk to a brown about, like, I used to give my, my this book called Emily Post's Book of Etiquette. And it teaches how to eat, you know, with the proper forks and shit like that. And I used to give my bitches golf digest so they could learn about golf, the Rob Report. They can learn about, you know, all these Rolls Royces and these fine luxury cars. So when they sit in there, they talk into a trip. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they got knowledge. They got wisdom. They got understanding. You know, and I should give them, you know, words to read and make them write their goals down. Because, you know what I'm saying, that's called a program. You know what I'm saying, Mike? What do you prefer? You prefer to be deep or just have just some good, bad? And some, some good work because so nine, nine times, times out of ten. ten break. Yeah, not yeah, nine times out of ten when you deep, I ain't just saying this, but like nine times out of ten, every time I see somebody deep, they just putting up with a whole bunch of shit just to be deep. Mm -hmm. Like everybody ain't solid good work like that. Mm -hmm. You ain't that, that deep with all good work. I ain't never seen, you know. Some people just be wanting to be deep for some reason. So they think it look good. You know what I'm saying? Though, it like stuff like that on top. So ever ever came to say, uh, Mike, I'm ready to leave. Do you let the bitch leave or do you try to get some more horn out of to try to hold it back? I mean, shit, I ain't holding her back neither. As long as you hear you, oh, for sure, you gonna get mashed, but shit, gonna start the process though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You gonna, yeah, about your bitch. Chat his name, let's go. Suwa, chat his name. Yeah. Hey man, you know, it's good to hear, you know, that you got the game, man, because, you know, a lot of times, and you know what, I see why you so cold with it, Mike, because a lot of niggas, they'll rap about it, 
And then I ask yeah, him I the same know. questions that I asked you, and the shit don't even add up to yeah. a hill of beans. But I'm asking you questions, and you hitting that shit on the nail, yeah. right? And you saying, uh, I ain't just rapping about this. And I think that's being true to the game. For like sure. a lot of times you see me doing business deals, and you see me, you know, uh, you know, talking real proper on the internet. But I'm one of the raw niggas in the it game. Come on, yeah. And motherfuckers be like, uh, oh, yeah, nigga, I know that shit. I ain't gotta kick that shit when I'm in front of these white folks. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gotta act like something that I am. Exactly. Or that I that I already know. Mm -hmm. and, but but motherfuckers be working too hard to try to act like they know that that's what I'm talking about. But now if it's just me and you, we partners, why well, I'm kicking that too? Mm -hmm. Or just for whatever reason, bro, like like I said, and even when I was in the street selling this, selling that, I was always like that. Like, if I rap, you knew me for rapping, you knew me for rapping. If you was outside on that line, you, you seen me, you know me from mm -hmm. being outside kicking it with me. Or if I used to serve you, you know me from that. So like somebody I'm serving might be like, man, why you ain't tell me you rapped? They had all this music. Or somebody that's a fan of me like, this nigga don't sell, this nigga don't sell nothing. Like, ain't, 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 you know what I'm saying? But it's like, it's, it's how you know me, but if you know, like, you be out there, shit, all the niggas out there know. Yeah. But somebody, like, that might be in the comments that ain't never been out there, gonna be like, man. But it's because they ain't even there last night. Mm -hmm. They just online. They going off what they seen online. Yeah, yeah. One of my partners, Rooster, you know Rooster, right? Yeah, for sure. Rooster, rapper. Right? He, he do the, the pimp shit. He one in the morning. Yeah, he one in the morning. Yeah, yeah, that's my partner. So Rooster was saying, yeah, man, Ken, one of my partners was uh, asking me, uh, uh, like, yeah, man, uh, 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 he said, what he say? He said, yeah, uh, uh, Ken, you know, robbed the banks. He said, yeah, Ken, I said, nigga, shit, nigga, we all come from somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga, I was, nigga, I was a, there was a Cadillac and I was a Corvette. I was getting my money faster than the, you know what I'm saying? I knew how to get, I knew how to go in there and get 20, 30,000 without no gun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I was young. Okay. But when I signed up for the game, and I said, oh, this is what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And I, you're talking about 16 when I was doing that, 16 mm -hmm. or 17. Mm -hmm. You know, then when I got in the actual game and I, I started traveling around the world, I had to give everything up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I got the ING. Yeah. The ING mean I'm not going, Cindy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now, you understand know me, you know, I'm doing this, but then pimps up, hold down, come out, and then I get out the game. So when I get out the game, Mike, I'm like, okay, now I can start doing real estate. I can start doing this, 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 that, and the other, right? And apply more time, you know, even hip hop attorney. So, you know, that's the difference, you know, for the guy that asked Lucy the question. My nigga, I ain't in the game no more. You know what I'm saying, man? I wanted to ask you how you feel about um, the people that say, like, if you do something outside of the game, that you're not really that. Because even that, that made me feel like, like you cool with Pimp C, that made me feel like Pimp C when niggas say, you ain't real hip hop. It's like, it's like, I, I, I just oh, came you. across the game. Like, oh, you rap, you a rapper, so you ain't this. Or you used to, you used to trap too, so you ain't this. But it's like, man, I don't want to be like none of you niggas anyway. But let me ask the question, right? The question is, they said, you got to pimp or die. It's, it's A-O-B all on the back. Right. I'm the first nigga that changed that mentality. I'm the reason why these niggas rapping now in Pimmin. You know what I'm saying? I'm the reason why these niggas is getting jobs and owning business. Come on. Because everybody else was scared. Come on. Hey, I'm taking my like this fresh. I'm like, hey man, this you can't tell me what to, to do. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You ain't paying me these hoes paying me, nigga. Come you know what I'm saying? Nigga, if you ain't going out there putting on some high heels and mini skirt and going to work, then don't tell me what to, to do. So I decided to start selling DVDs. I decided to start making movies. <laughs> and then once I did it, guess what? Now it's now cool. Now these niggas gonna do it. It's cool. Come on. You see what I'm saying? So 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 some nigga got to step outside of that that motherfucking mummy shit. You know, that's some mummy shit. That's some ancient shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit got mummy dust on it. That shit was in the pyramid days and shit. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean? I'm saying, I'm listening to these old niggas. I'm saying, yeah, nigga. You gonna pimp or die, nigga. I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna pimp and multiply. Yeah. I'm gonna turn these hoes into dividends. Yeah. You know, 
You know, as soon as I got big, big enough trap, I bought that mother's first house and named it after the bitch. Yeah. I'm eating off the bitch gone, but I'm still collecting rent off that whole dough, though. Come you on. know what I'm saying? Come on. So, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? I started buying this. I had grocery store, clothing store, all that shit. Yeah. I would listen to them niggas. Ah, oh, man, he ain't get it. Yeah, look at, but look at the nigga say that he asking you for a jug. How the nigga asking you for a jug? Fuck them talking about I ain't talking no, nigga. Right. When me and you was up on the blade at the same time, we was sitting and we was knocking and trading and, and matching on the same hoes. Yeah. Nigga, you just want me to be a fool. Yeah. So in answer to your question, man, if you a pimp and you follow the rules, you understand me? You ain't yeah. fucking no bitches on the, on the first date, you understand me? You know, them hoes, you understand me, in pocket. Them hoes ain't running around, you know what I'm saying, playing with other pimps. Them hoes out there, you know what I'm saying, me going to get their money, they following your instructions. Hey man, check this out, man. That's the ism. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, me? Now, one thing I wouldn't, I do agree with them on if you, if you the ism, don't take the chances. What I mean by that? Investing is not taking the chances, that's taking the risk. Taking the chances, if you got two hoes over here and you doing all this, Hustling and shit, you set, you you you're 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 je you're jeopardizing yourself. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you have to do it, do it. But that would jeopardize you. Yeah, okay. You know, so if you robbing banks, that would jeopardize yeah, you. If you going right. robbing niggas, that would jeopardize you. Now you know I said, you know what I mean? You got the ism, but I'm telling you for your own sake, yeah. don't do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's all I got to say. Yeah. But I can't tell a nigga what to do with his time and how to hustle and none of that shit. That's that his prerogative. But me, you know, like, I hustle, I did every hustle you can do. But when I was blessed enough to get the game, man, man you couldn't put a rock in my pot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Straight you, know, up. So you, could, you, you, could, you couldn't put no weed in my hand. Straight up. You could, I, could, I, I couldn't do no uh, credit card scam. Straight up. Because these hoes was, I, see, when you peel correctly, whatever you're trying to do out the weed, if, if you try to sell crack, you get a dollar out of that. Okay, then you sell the crack. Guess what crack I'm going to sell? I'm going to sell the crack between the whole back. Yeah, you can wash it off and sit it in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 it ain't no motherfucker no real. Yeah. Ain't no real up on the bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, that's how I look at it as from a business perspective. Yeah. Not from just I'm pimp crazy yeah, yeah. or whatever. I'm like, like business-wise, nigga had to tell me that. You know, I knew that if I went out there and I went in that bank and I robbed that bank, and they catch me on camera, I'm going to jail. The Texas gonna be looking for me. Yeah. These niggas gonna have these hoes and these niggas gonna be eating off of the bitches that I brought that you to the table. Yeah. So you understand yeah. me? So why don't I just focus on these hoes and get my money? That's how I thought when I was in the game. Also when I was in the game, in answer to your question, uh Mike, I would also invest. You know what I'm saying? I also flip the money. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say in my book, Pimp Eye, that's why you should read, I said turn the whole ends and the dividends. You know what I'm saying? Because if you ain't flipping the money, then the bitch that you is a sucker too. Anyway, yeah. yeah. That's why I don't stick around when niggas can't pay because nigga ain't really, you know, making no sense. Yeah. He making dollars, but he ain't making no sense. Yeah, and that backs to the question, because if if I don't do nothing else, how do, how I'm gonna flip it? Mm -hmm. How I'm gonna flip it? <laughs> you gonna you gonna end up becoming a trick. You ain't gonna come a trick too? To Louis Vuitton, to Amani, to on. the jewelry store. It's a month literally it, I actually go, it's a month and Mitch. In Miami. And you know he used to tell me, I'm the biggest pimp of them all. I said, why you say that, Mitch? He said, because all these pimps, they bring me their watches and they bring me their whole money. This is a month jeweler. A jeweler, yeah. They bring, they bring me, me all, all their money. They bring me all their money. And, and he ain't lying. He ain't lying. You know what I mean? The motherfucker, you know, uh, the, 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 the clothing store, they getting all the money. Okay, how about you just take that 20000 that they gave you and buy some property? You know what I mean? And flip and sell it for 40. You got the whole 20 and you got the pimp 20. You know what I mean? So you didn't pimp twice on this hoe. You got to take your money and level it up. You know what I'm saying? And niggas don't get to that part of the game. And that's what frustrated me about these little niggas when they be running to me. Yeah, man, it's all on the band. This shit smell like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, my nigga. Now what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga said it ain't no after pimp. Nigga. After Pippin, it better be some after Pippin, it better be some life after Pippin. Come on. I ain't finna die, nigga, after I get through Pippin, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? For sure. You know, so, whatever you do, bro, Mike, keep doing your music, man. You know what I mean? If you fortunate enough to have some girls that like you, 
hey man, you know, if they want to give you a gift, hey man, that's their prerogative. Come on. But don't let those gifts, let those naysayers, none of that shit stop you from using your God given talent. Absolutely. I'm saying this to you as a 60 year old man. For sure. Yeah. Old enough to be your granddad. For sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So this is some real game. You know what I mean? Use that shit wisely. Don't listen to no nigga. If I would listen to nigga, it would never been Pepper King. I would never been come some old down. Yeah. I would have never been on Fifty Cent album. I would have never been on Nelly album. I would have never been on Lil John album. I would have never been on Two Short album. Now all these niggas, you know what they say? So any nigga that was shitting on me, hey man, how you on the medals, man? Guess who their kids is calling out? You, you was with me last night, right? Yeah. I was with you. Yeah. I won't, you were with me. I was with you. Yeah. This was your show. Yeah. And how many little niggas like, hey, Pimpy Kid? Little time. bitty kids, right? Young niggas. A bunch of them. They I don't even it. know these niggas. I seen. See what I'm saying? But they, that's what I'm saying. Legendary niggas coming up to Pimpy Kid, Pimpy Kid. I'm like, that. all the security, you remember? They was saying no me at first. Yeah. They, cause you know they ain't always with you. And then you said, man, this Pimpy Kid. Ah, yeah. oh, Pimpy Kid. So the point that I'm trying to make, that's my fresh. Ah, these niggas probably be tripping when they see you. For sure. So what I'm saying, you're doing the right thing. Damn what they say. Okay. Because they're not gonna pay your bills. No, they don't. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they didn't give you the gift, God did. God don't make no mistakes, homie. For sure. The steps of a good man are ordered by God. The roles that you take to get to your destiny is not gonna be the ones to get you there. It's gonna be your detour. And every time you have a setback, it's a setup for a comeback. You have a major fall through before you have a major breakthrough. Yes, and all these niggas, right? Mike, that's hating on you, guess what? Uh -huh. They dead weight. Real shit. They dead weight. Real shit. Once you take them niggas up off of you, 20 pounds, you're gonna feel 20 pounds lighter. Imagine if you was 20 pounds lighter, you could run 100 yard dash. For sure. So man, you know, I don't want to hold you long, man, and uh, if there's anything that you want to say, what we always say is that uh, I want you to get uh, the people out there your cash app. <coughs> if they want to send donations, you want to do a super chat, you know, just cash out my man, and just put sure. a view from the game, he's going to write that off on his taxes. Yes, sir. Give me your cash app. Yeah, P-O-P-I-T, number four, F-R-3-S-H, pop it for fresh. And, and you can get my cash app at 404-790-9627. Yes, that means really a view from the gang. Y'all see the man laced with the gang. And he's successful in the music industry. If you want to tell me anything else, if, you, if I forgot about the music industry, you can chop it up. Or if you want to say something, you know, about some of the programs you got, let them know um, by quick mic. Yeah, man. Thank God I got my own motion clothing line right now, man. Go get that bounce when she walk. It's out now. Shout out to HHF, that's to my new family, man. I appreciate y'all for having me, man. Real talk, man. For sure. All right. HHF. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. we got to do Jackie. It came a little early. Ah, <laughs> yeah, man. Nah, for sure. So, for sure, so, man. HHF, man. Big, 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 big. Oh, shit. You hit that moment, huh? Yeah, yeah right. man, Jackie just came in, man. H.A. Tell business, man. You know what I'm talking about? Put that motherfucker on. I've been mean, one of these motherfuckers, Ken. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, now we, now we, uh, uh, uh. Somebody coming up shop tonight, but I put this bitch, put this bitch out, boy. <laughs> Say, the cop, man, I'm gonna be calling you niggas in a little minute. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, I appreciate you, man, for a big Here we go on the Beehive Show. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then. Yeah. We just need your giant hand young man. Come on, get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, live on the Beehive Show. You know That's what I'm right. Let's go. Yeah. 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 So, baby. so, 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 uh, <laughs> hey, man, welcome to the team, man. So, it's so, Mike, when it comes to the streaming side of stuff and going viral, man, I mean, break that down to me. How does one go from the ground all the way up? Yeah, man, I, I can't really explain that. I got to get out on the God or something. I'm with you. I'm with you. Honestly, because when I do stuff like that, I be like, how do I do it again? I don't know. I, I ain't do it. <laughs> and like, like I said, be the women that they love me so much. So when we made this this Bounce When She Walks song uh, months ago, bro. Yeah. And they took it all over TikTok, doing the challenge all in other countries, Africa, China, billion streams. I don't know how, bro. Yeah. I, I was at the house and my draw was recording that. 
I didn't put up nothing. Like, I ain't, I don't know, bro. Yeah. Like, people just love it. Like, some I people say it, I put I voodoo in that music. Most of y'all don't know him from once he introduced himself. He got over a billion streams. Don't let him introduce himself. But I'm going to go out. I'm going to go out and Mike Fresh. You ain't never heard me. You may have heard me on that song. Throw that ass in the circle. Hey! And you ain't heard that. You may have heard me on that song. They bounce with me. She walked. Hey! Y'all know Mike G? Oh, yeah, yeah. We did We did some business Mike G. Yeah, so y'all know he, he be doing some of the Boosie shows and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he brought a Boosie show to Oklahoma. And um, he had had me open up, so um, he was bringing me to the back room. Like man, uh, he just gave me the back end. He like man, I'm finna. Uh, you got some wings back here, man. Come chill. So he bring me to the back room. Me and my partners go. We come bombard in the room. Yeah. Boosie and all his partners in the room. The way we walked in was all wrong. Like yeah, like oh, he gets his wings. And he's in front of us. And they were looking at us like man, who are these dudes? <laughs> What's going on? They like, well, y'all must want a picture or something. That's what somebody said. I said, you know what? I so do. I posed and I got on the pocket and was. So I told G to like, bro, you tripping? Don't never, ever, ever, ever do that ever. I done rolled the call BG and the Dodge Magnum before. Shit, BG was at the crib in the living room before. Shit, I was at the uh, bling, bling Bling video shoot, the baller block and movie set. We was at the mall one time. They had like a hundred girls on the tour bus. I was little, I had to go on there to go pee, and I just went on there and stayed on there. I was sitting on there talking to the girls and stuff. Like an hour later, my mama and BG them come get me off the bus. 